Hi there Warrior, how are you? I hope that you're doing well. Today's video, we're going to be doing a flip through of our current quarterly and also three ways that we are using this amazing Bible study. Stay tuned. So first and foremost, if you're wondering what is a Sabbath school lesson, it is a worldwide Bible study and it's a Christian Bible study that you can definitely download for free. Everybody in the world is studying the same topic and this one is for the adults it's a quarterly which is three months and it's managing for the master everyone from babies to grown-ups we get our own and different kinds of ways and you're going to see it and hopefully i'll leave the description box below so you can join us in this amazing bible study currently we are studying about finances anything regarding from tithing to and you know trying to get out of debt um uh, budgeting, all sorts of things, and what God says in the Bible. So quarterlies are a 12th lesson. Every week you get a lesson and it's divided per day. So every day you get one lesson. So these are the actual like um, parts of our study. And these are the weeks. And right here you have the dates as well. And the dates that you are actually going to be involved in those particular lessons. So the first one you have parts of family, God's covenant with us, tithing contract. That's where I'm at right now. Offering for Jesus, dealing with that, laying up treasures in heaven, onto the least of these, planning for success, beware of covetousness, giving back, managing in tough times and reward of faithfulness okay we'll be studying that till march hopefully you'll be joining us okay so here you get just a like a introduction to what we are going to be studying um which i already have mentioned is finances and it's really heavy on bible Verses. If you love these kind of studies, then I really recommend them. It is by Mr. Reed. I've never heard of him before, but I have seen him in uh, Lines Upon Lines or It Is Written um, show. And hopefully, if I do remember, I will leave the description box below the link to that uh, amazing ministry. So here I will be showing you what it is basically looks like so this is lesson one and the date which is from december to january 6th so here you would have the what you will be doing for our show on saturday um most of the time when you get out of church or any time after that it's fine um then you have there for sunday and then so on and so forth so you got monday tuesday um, and they have some lines there that you can answer the questions and a ministry type of um, testimony. So they have testimonies at the end. And uh, yeah, it's a really, it's a blessing. And um, here is part of God's family. And here you're going to be having some in like these focus type of Bible verses and then you're going to have a memory text and just like some um, just to help you um, in what you're like reading and with it so they help you as well um, so yeah you have some questions and you have space to write under and then they they help you um just sometimes if you're not understanding right there um they give you like a summary or a deeper meaning or description to the question that they're asking you um so yeah so i'm just gonna continue showing you um how it is so there's definitely reading there's definitely writing there is memory um text um you know when you memorize your the bible verses which that's amazing and then you have some deeper like discussions and yeah and the testimonies at the end which is really amazing as well 
So I'm going to continue just showing you um, some more of the actual lessons and hopefully I will just be chatting with you, just showing you some things that would um, benefit you. So yeah, tithing, very important. I'm definitely learning a lot uh, regarding tithing and it's really amazing. So how did I start the love for the Sabbath school lessons it was actually the when I did the book of Genesis. So the book of Genesis to me was amazing. We actually read chapter per chapter, line upon line, and it was amazing. I learned a whole lot and I actually Bible journal my way through the Sabbath school lessons. So hopefully if I remember, I'll leave in that uh, link in the description box below. And it's a really, really, I enjoyed myself. I think I was like, well, it was my, fa my, my favorite and it was my very, very first one that I actually like fell in love with it and completed it, you know? Um, cause before, um, there were some other ones and I wasn't really understanding. And this is part of maybe that's why I'm making these videos because there's someone out there. Hopefully maybe it's you that need a little bit more, um, what are these and what are they for and how can I use them type of videos, which I've never, you know, came across and the Lord put in my heart to help someone out there, you know? So if you're wondering why I didn't know, it's because I'm new to the Christian Seventh-day Adventists. Yes, I've been a Christian all my life, in, my life in different denominations, but I am so thankful to the Lord that in 2020, I've discovered what we call the truth. And the truth is definitely in the word. So yes, yeah, so I'm very thankful for the Christian Seventh-day Adventist Church that is truly proclaiming the truth, which is the truth of the Bible. And it's amazing. I'm very thankful. Um, so yes, here we're going towards the end. And I will be showing you uh, here, which I really love this section, um, is the 28 beliefs of the um, Christian Seventh-day Adventist Church Church. And... I hope to be doing a journaling. I will be doing a 28, um, 28 beliefs Bible journaling, hopefully in the future. So stay tuned for that. I, I'm really looking forward to it. So yes, I can't wait. Yeah, which is amazing. You can probably screenshot all these uh, Bible verses and look them up yourself. Um, I think that would be a definite blessing. And here, it giving you um, a glimpse of April's quarterly, uh, that, which is the second quarter. And this one I'm really, really excited about because this is like, um, it seems to be, to me, like end time um, stuff here. Um, so, yeah, it's really amazing. I can't wait. And it seems to be uh, the quarterly or the study done by Pastor family which he's pretty cool i really really love him so yes and here we're going to be going into the three ways that my family and i personally are using or incorporating um the sabbath school lesson in our lives you know and other resources that the lord has inspired me and that i am starting to share with you in my channel so hopefully you would be subscribing because as I'm going through their journey, I'm definitely sharing their journey. Okay. So I would love for you if you would like print it and it's totally free. You can print them or you can ask for them at your church. So this is a journal. I'm starting to Sabbath school lesson journal. And this journal I got at the thrift store. I absolutely love it. Um, it's really compact but mighty type of journal. And it's holding up my pages um, as I am adding all the fun stuff. The stickers, the, you know, washi tapes, 
um, markers, highlighters, all of that. You know, it's, it's, you know, I mean, who doesn't like stickers and, and highlighters and all that. So in my opinion, this is definitely amplifying the experience, the Sabbath school experience to me. Um, because when I was uh, starting to do them, I was not like, it wasn't captivating me 110% until the Genesis. That one was amazing, which um, Bible journaling through it was really, really cool. I hope to do a video sometime in the future just showing you my experience. I did do a quick flip through. Hopefully, I leave it on the description box below. But this is really amazing. It's amplifying. It's uh, creative. It is fun. I am scripture writing as well. I am Bible journaling. I will show you that in just one second. Um, and I am visu visually um, making it work for me. So yeah, this is amazing. You know, so that is one way that my family and I are using our Sabbath school lesson. Another way that the Lord inspired me to use the Sabbath school lesson is through Bible journaling, like actual Bible journaling, and we're doing it through the memory taxes. So every week we're um, doing this, uh, we're doing the, the memory text and we're Bible journaling style. I'm actually putting it in the actual Bible, which that's why it's the reason why it's called Bible journaling. In the journal, this was where it's called journaling. Um, so this Bible, it was pre-owned. Uh, it was owned by another, um, you know, brother or sister from church. And I'm using it now for my ministry, which is Adventist Moms in Armor, which that's you and I. Um, this was our first entry, really beautiful and simple. Um, just basically highlighting, tagging, and posting our entries there. This is the second one here. So that was really nice and pretty cool. And uh, it's a form of scripture writing, being creative, being in the word in a fun and exciting type of way. And who doesn't like strawberries? <laughs> so that's why I covered my Bible uh, with strawberry craft paper. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. I really love enjoying that, enjoy looking at it, and I'm drawn to my Bible for the purpose of this ministry. Um, so another way that um that we're Sabbath school lessening, or and that's the word, um, is my kids are Bible journaling. So this one it's for the kids. Everybody, like, super young or super old, have their own. So I would love for you to. Find, I have to find to see to help you in what way you would find the ages of for your kids because this is what we're going to be learning here through primary. And my children are in middle school. So, so this is like middle school age. No, not middle school, elementary. Sorry. <laughs> my kids are in the elementary Um so this is for them. There's um, Sabbath school lessons that are more for like younger kids and babies, which is mostly pictures and also teenagers. And then you have your adult. So how does this work? Every day you have something to do. It's you. It's very heavy on Bible Bible scriptures, um, memorizing. It's real big here, and um, we are having a lot of fun and you can find it right there in the links and it's pretty cool and there's a lot of things in here i mean i'm going to do a flip through of our bible journaling that what we're doing with these and you're going to be amazed um so again we just started basically like a couple months ago in this journey but i it's really 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 cool so these are my, or our Bibles that we are actually Sabbath school lesson Bible journaling. And um, yeah, mine's was totally free. You can see mine's right there in the middle. And my children's Bibles were 
a dollar, two dollar each. For real, at the thrift store. So it's a lot of fun. And things don't have to be expensive. And you can see here how we are expanding our Bibles. And the whole point is to get involved, be creative in God's Word, and be interactive in a fun environment, learning, you know, in a fun, creative type of way. So these are our puppets that we decided to make. I'm not quite sure which style of school lesson these were from, but they were an inspiration. It wasn't that the actual Bible, the style of school lesson was telling us to do puppets, but it was just an inspiration. And that's how I roll with the style of school lessons. I mean, it tells me what to do. And sometimes I just have the ideas and I just run with them. Um, right here, we were learning about spiders, and I personally decided to do spider craft. And here you would see some pictures um, and some other things that we've got involved with with the actual lessons. I have to be good at actually like either clipping a picture or putting exactly which quarterly it was for our children. Um, I'm good at putting the dates but not good at putting the quarterly so here i am showing you my ultimate favorite style of school lesson that we did this was jonah and it's so much it was so much fun this was my children's view vision inspiration on regarding the actual lesson and it's it was a lot a lot of fun so i really get I really hope to inspire you to, to do this. You know, my children are really, you know, holding the Bible, interacting with the Bible, with God's word and being creative. And there is no right. There's no wrong. And it's really an amazing journey. Um, right here, we were learning about Joseph. I'm not too sure if you remember this out of school lesson that we were learning about Joseph. So I was inspired to make like a little notebook or a little book. Um, yeah, so I just clipped it there and little pictures that I just upload, our scripture writing, our memory verses. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you think? <laughs> I actually absolutely think it's really amazing and God, it's amazing for inspiring me. So here we had to do some kind of crayon um, melting thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure when was that, but I remember it was a lot of fun, like actually melting it with the iron. Yeah, that was totally, totally cool. And this one is actually this week's. Um, we're talking about how to treat each other. Um, you know, we want to treat others how we want to be treated. So I'm not too sure if you remember that one. That one is actually 2023 quarterly. Um, so yeah, so this one is my personal Bible, which I just decorated with just little things that I found in my house. And the reason I'm showing you this is because um, we have to be examples for our children. And although I don't necessarily complete all the lessons, like actually, like you can see here that I have done some and the whole purpose is for me for my children to see me get involved in the Bible as well. So we're doing it together. Uh, but sometimes I'm not able to complete, you know, whatever I do complete, I stick it in some way, somehow. And then, um, yeah, so there, see, this is uh, year D, lesson one, quarterly one, 2023. So, yeah, I'm not sometimes able to complete it because I am, helping my children cut glue, color, paste, you know, we're right there with them. And so sometimes I'm able to, sometimes I just do something real quick and easy because they're, they're with me, they're watching me and I am an inspiration from, for them to, you know, for them to be involved with their Bibles and not be afraid of, you know, writing on them or highlighting it or whatever you know anybody will be afraid of um so yeah this is totally a blessing and it's 
really really cool totally inexpensive free resources that you can definitely um you know help your children and to grow in their faith and their relationship most importantly with god the father the son and the holy spirit so hopefully you would print it and join us so i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that it was informative inspiring encouraging you some way or another if so please let me know and i hope that you would be uh, coming along with us on this journey through journaling, Bible journaling, and Sabbath school lessons. God bless you. Bye-bye.